Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Days. I'm Wanda, and tonight we are in the Queen Dome. My greenhouse slash high tunnel, whatever you want to call it. It is 7 o'clock at night on May the 25th. The geraniums look awesome. I've got ginger and turmeric planted here. It looks like, um, I think that might, some of that might be turmeric. I don't know. It'll have to get up bigger for me to determine which is which, but I think that's the turmeric that's looking so pretty. And I think this is ginger. I don't know. Because I planted some of both. Look at this. Cherokee purple tomato. Just went berserk. It is probably five to six foot tall. Blooms everywhere. Little tomatoes all over the place. But look at this. Mr. John sent me a tea seed for a tea tree, actual tea tree. I planted it last fall. One finally came up. I think I planted six, so I'm going to be watching in here for others, but one has come up, so I actually have a tea tree planted. Isn't that awesome? Then Danny squash, and look at this. I'm talking massive squash <laughs> isn't that crazy it just went berserk we picked some of the uh, purple beans this I think yesterday and then this is the back side of the tomatoes and the Cherokee tan y'all I can't even get down through here but y'all see tomatoes hanging in there we have to come from the other side but the Cherokee tan is about hmm three quarters of the way down this now but look at it it's up here too look at the blooms tomatoes blooms these are the Cherokee purple tomatoes the Cherokee tan pumpkin I'm just amazed I love it I love it I love it I love it some of my little flowers I don't know what they call but they're flowers more flowers this is the other side of the Cherokee tan. Look at this. There are blooms in there. Uh, let's see, where did I see? Ah, it started having blooms. That was a male bloom. This was a male bloom. And look, tomatoes. Let's get it off the tomato. See, I've got tomatoes hanging all in there. These are the Cherokee purple tomatoes. Some of them's getting good size. I've got male blooms. Then we've got little... I'm hoping the bees are doing their job. Let me see if I can find... There. We have a little pumpkin. It hasn't opened up yet, so we'll see if the bees do what they're supposed to on here. But between tomatoes and pumpkins, I'm going to have a time... They're going to be all over the place. This is this is crazy. I mean, look at this. They're intertwined. All in between each other. See the tomatoes? <laughs> and then you got a pumpkin leaf. It's beautiful. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, we should have tomatoes in three or four weeks because they are growing crazy and yes I pruned these and since last video I've tied them up twice and y'all I thought the Cherokee tan quit halfway or three quarters of the way look at here I'm already past the three-quarter mark and look at this this is the end of my post right here Cherokee tan is right here <laughs> isn't that crazy so the Cherokee tan is just going to town up here. And so are the Cherokee purple tomatoes. I mean, just loading up. Now you can see right down there, that's the end of the Cherokee tan on there. There's another end right there. It just puts out sprouts. And you see up here, this is where it comes all the way to right in here. And the tomatoes are just... They're over the four foot mark, hitting five. It's just crazy. 
more of Danny's um, squash here on this end. A little bit of flower colors popping in there. All right, this is the kale that Miss Lippy stole from. Nah, I give it to her. Look at this stuff. She can come get some more. Look at this. This turned into a tree. I'm talking a tree. It's crazy. The Egyptian walking onions are doing great. We're going to take some of the tops off to be replanted. And as always, my flowers and aloes and more Egyptian walking onions in this corner. It's all looking great. The Algonquin beans are blooming. Got little beans on some of them here and there. So they're doing really good. Look at this. This mullein has just went crazy. Like I showed you the other day, it's fixing to put on a pretty, pretty yellow stalk. Look at this one. This one, the leaves didn't get as big. But look at this. It's already putting its stalk on. This is what the mullein flowers will look like as it the stalk here grows and it'll get a foot tall or so it'll put on yellow flowers so you that wanted to know what mullein looked like that's going to be it that's what it looks like these are the big leaves on this one and they're fuzzy that's what it looks like a fuzzy leaf and then they put on a yellow a stalk with yellow flowers then my Cherokee yellow wax beans we picked a few they're blooming again we'll get a few more before we take those out now I have volunteer sunflowers these things there's about one two three three of them look at this this is supposed to be the little small sunflowers from Haas tools that get five to six feet tall they're eight, almost nine foot tall right now in the greenhouse, that one is. And still going. Danny's going to tie it over this way and let it go some. But y'all, I counted yesterday. You see the sunflower head at the top? As you come down, there's sunflower heads on every little section of it. I'm talking every section. I've never seen that before. I counted 21 sunflower heads on one plant. That ought to be something. Hey, y'all want to do a sunflower challenge again? How many heads can y'all, sunflower heads can you get on one stalk? <laughs> this one's smaller, and this one's a medium one. I don't know if this one, it looks like this one may do the same thing. It may put on, we'll see. Little, But these were volunteers. These, This came up volunteer. I'm just... I'm really amazed and this is the kale from the back side uh, my mums are fixing to bloom and this is my Malabar spinach starting to go up this thing got to the top of my post and I got to figure out what I'm gonna do with it it's looking great these are the trail of tears beans the Cherokee trail of tears I'm letting them turn colors three plants guys next week I can imagine we are going to be counting beans to see how many beans I get off three plants. It's got to be a record. Some kind of record. Because they are just loaded. More than I've ever seen any kind of bean before. So we're going to count them next week. My pride and joy. I wanted to know, could I grow corn in my high tunnel? <laughs> I'm growing corn. It is way past the 8 foot mark. Some of it's 9 foot and counting. A lot of it's reaching the 8 foot mark. It has been tasseling. Y'all, I have ears of corn. Look at here. This is the Cherokee Long Ear Popcorn. Look at this. I have ears of corn. See up there? Look at this. I may have popcorn. I'm just 100% excited about this. 
I mean, look. I don't know. We shall see. But what do you think? Can one to grow corn? I don't know if I'll harvest any, but I'd say I can grow it. If nothing else, it's cow feed. They love corn stalks. But isn't that beautiful? Amber waves of grain. That's what I think of every time I see this. They might have been talking about wheat. But I'm talking about corn. It's beautiful. And as always, the petunias. Just another bright color here. We're letting the petunias grow everywhere on the place because they're they're just all over the place. And I forgot my pepper. This is my peppercorns. This one is looking great. The color is just amazing. I'm really glad to see that the color's getting better. Danny's been adding some juice and stuff to it. And this is the other one. The color on it is better. It is almost there. This one leaf, two or three of them down here, still has a little bit of discoloration. But it's coming out. So peppercorn. And then this was some type of mint. And it is fixing to bloom. So we'll see when it pops out. So I'm going to take some of these. Man, that's a big cucumber. <laughs> Look at that. I mean... Look at it on my arm. That's crazy. Look at here. All wrapped up in there. We're going to pick these and see just how many there are that have gotten really huge. I could make pickles or relish out of these. I'm going to have enough. That's just crazy. They don't take many of these. One way up there. What are they at? Alright, I picked nine of these long cucumbers. All of them are about the same length. Nine of them. This is my first picking. First. And you see the blooms? And you see where it's going? And you see all the prettiness? I'm amazed. Thrilled. And totally excited about my new high tunnel growing my Cherokee garden here in the Deep South. Thank you guys from Crazy Days.